Hello everyone and welcome to Ranking of Horrors. This is episode one. I'm gonna rank some Child's Play movies in a very arbitrary list that I have here on Letterboxd. Before we get started, I have, uh, here I am, by the way, I'm going to be looking at my screen over here, but I thought it would be nice to have some sort of face cam. I have a podcast, which you can listen to, uh, please like this video and also follow me on Twitter. Uh, all the links and everything will be down in the description. All right. Uh, no more fucking around. Let's get to ranking these Child's Play movies. Okay. So I think the way I want to do this, uh, and I, I really do like these sort of ramble type videos. So I'm going to be talking through my thought process while I do this. And I think the best way to do this uh, is, is kind of rank the movies in tiers first, right? So we'll have like a top tier, a middle tier, and then a bottom tier. Now, Child's Play 1 and 2, they're top tier. They're good movies. Okay. Uh, Child's Play 3, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, let's start, let's, let's just start fucking around with this list. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move it towards the bottom. Seed of Shucky is definitely going towards the bottom. Uh, oh God, so is Curse. And Brian, or maybe not Brian. Uh, let's, let's do, let's do this right now. All right. I think this is a pretty good, like, uh, tier list here where we have at the bottom tier, Curse of Shucky, Shade of Shucky, and Bride of Shucky. Middle tier is Child's Play Free and Cult of Shucky. And then sort of the A tier are Child's Play and the remake and Child's Play 2. So let's start at the bottom. Okay. I think... Seed of Shucky is one of the worst horror sequels to ever have been made. That's going to be at the bottom. I think that everything Seed of Shucky tries to do, it fails. The only thing I liked about it is uh, Jennifer Tilly sort of playing herself and clearly having a lot of fun. But it's, it's a very, very bad movie. Which led to Curse of Shucky, which came out... You know, nine years later, I, th I think Curse of Shucky deserves the seventh spot here because it kind of overcorrects from Seed of Shucky, where Seed of Shucky was being like this ridiculous uh, kind of slapstick B-movie, uh, and, and, and it's truly awful. Like, it, I hate Seed of Shucky. I really do. Um, Curse of Shucky, like, overcorrects and tries to be scary again. But it doesn't have the budget. It's the first one of these to go straight to DVD. I'm, I'm sure it was in theater somewhere. Uh, but it doesn't have, like, the the budget. And, uh, you know, Shucky gets, Shucky gets introduced early, like the original Child's Play. But he doesn't start talking. He doesn't start doing things until very late in the film. But, yeah, let, let, let's, let's keep Curse of Shucky at 7th. Bride of Shucky is another one of these movies that I watched for the first time this month. And I was honestly kind of shocked by how how much I didn't like it. This is one of those movies that sort of gets held up within horror circles. In some ways, you know, it's the first one of these with Jennifer Tilly. But yeah, I just I just don't think it's aged well. And, and you know, I am I definitely I don't like the comedy that both Bride of Shucky and Seed of Shucky tried to go for. I have to place Bride of Shucky at number six over Child's Play Free at number five. So while Child's Play Free is not a very significant movie, it's it's directed by Jack Bender, who I actually quite like. He's done a lot of good TV work. Yeah, Child's Play Free is like it just after the complete banger that is Child's Play Two, which I'll get to a little bit later. It just comes across as a little drab and a little um, it's a little underwhelming after you've seen Child's Play Two, although. The last act of Child's Play 3, I think, is actually quite fantastic, and that will be the reason why... You know what? That will be the reason why Child's Play 3 is number 4 over, over Cult of Shucky. Um, because Cult of Shucky is another one of these movies that I... I thought it's... 
it was enjoyable. Uh, I like the fact that in Cult of Shucky, you know, it's the one that comes after Curse, right? And and Curse was kind of like a, uh, seen as a return to form, although I didn't like it very much. You know, it, it was it was uh, well regarded at the time, and it got got uh, Don Mancini to to make Cult of Shucky, which had uh, a bigger budget, bigger cast, uh, and just in general, it's just a way better film. But it still has a lot of the, like, same, you know, a lot of the characters come back from Curse of Shucky, or some of the characters come back from Curse of Shucky, who I just don't like. Andy comes back in a big way in Cult of Shucky, which is fun, but, like, it's a little boring. I would not, and it looks just sheep at times. You know, Curse of Shucky looks sheeps all the time, and Cult of Shucky has moments where it really, um... It really kind of shines, and there's a, a bigger set pieces. But in general, like I think the filmmaking looks incredibly cheap, and and the directing is actually quite quite bad. But yeah, let's keep it there, and then and then let's have Child's Play free at number four because, as I said before, while definitely a step down from Child's Play two, it is it has a crazy third act, and I actually like the setting of it set at a, like a military sort of academy. Uh, and, and, uh, yeah, I can't, I, I, you know, the more I'm thinking about Child's Play Free, the more, the more I'm all right with it being at the number four spot. And, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it's going to get real tough and I'm going to have to do, uh, some editing because now I have to think. Because I quite like all three of these movies. I was shocked by how much... Fun I had with the Child's Play remake. A part, a, a part of why I had so much fun with it is because I don't have a really strong connection to the later Shucky movies. Where, like, I honestly feel like the everything after Child's Play three, like, it just kind of went off the rails. Like, I, I, I understand that Jennifer Tilly is a very good actress, and it's fun to have her in these movies, and and she's having a lot of fun in them. But just in general, like, I kind of feel like Child's Play three. Everything took a, a, a comedic turn um, that felt very slapstick and, and not clever. I think Child's Play, the remake, is actually quite clever and pretty funny. And I like the fact that they made Shucky... Like, it's so different. It, 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 like, I love the fact that they're not, they're not doing the same movie again. Um, they are taking the idea of Shucky and you're sort of turning him into an AI and this AI is, is, it's gone rogue, but it ultimately, it wants to befriend Andy. Like it doesn't want to kill Andy uh, at first. It wants to befriend him. And and, and so it ha it is this AI toy that doesn't have any boundaries uh, whatsoever. It's really quite fun. Aubrey Plaza is is great in it as, as Andy's mother. I, I really, really... Uh, had so much fun with the remake, uh, and and maybe part of this is like, oh, I wasn't expecting it to be very good, so I was pleasantly surprised by it. But I do I do think that it's it's one of the stronger ones of these, and it, it's you know that might be uh, a little controversial because it's the only one that Don Mancini wasn't really involved with a lot, but. And yeah, Brad Dorf doesn't even play Shucky in it. Mark Hamill does. And and, and I think Mark Hamill gives off a great performance. Like, yeah, I, I I had a lot of fun with uh, Child's Play 2019. So if you haven't seen it, if you've, you've just sort of written it off as another remake, it's very different, but I do think it's a lot of fun. This begs the question, though, which is the best Child's Play movie? Is it the original or is it Child's Play um, 2? And I'm going to just answer this question right away and say it's Child's Play 2. Uh, Child's Play 2 does everything... It's usually the things that I don't like about sequels. It, 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 it's bigger, it's like more loud, and it's more ridiculous. But with Child's Play, that's fucking perfect. Like, they are doing so much with the cons you know the first movie is like it tries to be scary um and it tries to have these really 
sort of emotional moments between Andy and his mom. In this one, like, Andy's just in a fucking foster home. We're going to kill these parents right away. We're going to, uh, you know, Andy's going to put be put in some really fucked up situation. Shucky is so mean in Child's Play 2. Like, Shucky is mean in the first one as well, but he's so mean and diabolical, and it doesn't, really, it doesn't play it for laughs all that much like it is funny because it's this doll going around and being a fucking evil serial killer but it doesn't like play up the slapstick or anything like that it, it just sort of kind of comes naturally and that's what i really like about child's play 2 and i kind of wish that some of the later sequels went in a more not serious direction, but they kept that tone of, like, that really playful, mean tone that Child's Play 1 and 2 has. And Child's Play, like the original, I don't think I need to talk a lot about it. It's a it's a classic, and if you haven't seen it, you you should you should go... I don't know what I... You should go watch that movie. Like, like it's, it's iconic. And then, you know, after you've seen that, uh, maybe turn on Child's Play 2. So... The final... Jesus, that was loud. Sorry. The final ranking of this... Uh, <laughs> my, my, my Child's Play ranking is... Child's Play 2. Child's Play. Child's Play. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is confusing. All right. Child's Play 2 from 1990. Child's Play the original. Child's Play the remake. Child's Play 3 from 1991. And then we have uh, in the lower tier... The uh, Don Mancini uh, directed Cult of Shucky, Bride of Shucky, Curse of Shucky, and Seed of Shucky. I think the only ones that I would say like, hey, don't watch this movie is probably Seed of Shucky. If if you if you watch like the first one and the second one, you're like, oh, I really enjoy this. Like, yeah, go go ahead and watch uh, uh, Shall's Play Free and, and and Bride of Shucky and and and. Uh, You'll probably want to watch Curse, so you'll get to Colt as well. But, you know, this is a pretty strong franchise, because if you discuss, like, Halloween or, or Friday the 13th, there's going to be a lot of, of duds in there, but here I, there's only a couple. So, if you enjoyed this video, uh, and if you hate my rankings, please comment with your own rankings. Uh, but more importantly, if you enjoyed this video... You can give it a thumbs up. You can listen to my podcast, which I'll link in the description. You can also follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'm trying to do more stuff on here, but it's kind of difficult to find time in between the podcast and, and, and the work and everything. So, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter for more updates. I'll probably do another one of these whenever I, I sort of happen to watch a lot of uh, the same movies in the same franchise or maybe i'll just do like not a franchise list franchise list maybe i'll just do something like oh top hearts of uh whatever year or whatever decade or something like that i don't know just uh let me know if you uh thought this was enjoyable um or not 